guys in this video i'm going to be talking about how some of you people out there wash cars for your men you would have told us that you've opened your own car washing service so we all can come and patronize you you would have told us that your gift is washing car and you carry that special gift that god gave you and you said that it is your boyfriend's car that you want to be washing as a woman you're not a man who no you don't have muscle you don't have that jesus guys i saw the most shocking thing so i saw a lady a full-blown woman washing her boyfriend's car by 12 noon in the afternoon first of all i saw her cleaning the interior and my head was like no she's not cleaning car i'm sure she's trying to search for something you know inside this car then i saw her breaking out the foot mat i said what what am i seeing i was still living in denial finally i saw her carrying buckets of water then pouring water on the car and the car started foaming that was when i knew that water has passed gary after washing the car then she started washing the tires then later the guy came to join her so while the guy was washing you know the other side of the car she was telling the guy that see oh you're not washing this side well the man was like mind your own side stop telling me what to do why don't you face your own side guys i never ever knew that i had self-control i was just holding myself like this i wanted to walk up to this lady and ask her what the are you doing why won't the man insult her why she has already insulted herself by going out to wash car to fetch water carrying water you are building muscle go to the gym now go and start gymming carrying carrying water like this now you're a woman then you bend the bending you do in the bed is not enough the snake in the shadow style you give is not enough now he's bending down to wash car you bend your hip then you wash car then you wash tire. I was just imagining, like, after washing that car, I'm sure she'll be tired. So when she goes back inside, how is the guy going to thank her? He's going to buy her a good gift, a sweet gift. He's going to kiss her all night. Or he's going to thank her with sex. Which waste is she going to use and have that sex? Because if it is me, that waste will not work for weeks. I have bent down to do hard labor. I have labored. So my waste is not bending for any style the only style i know is lying down to sleep and waking up how can you go and be washing a man's car by 12 noon in the afternoon in the sun i run away from the sun imagine me scrubbing and washing car and fetching water with buckets when you see me won't you flog me won't you sentence me to life imprisonment won't you think that i'm sick in the head I mean, leave a comment below how are you gonna feel see me wash my man's car i was asking myself what made this lady do something like this i thought about the possible scenario it's possible that she must have told the man so many times you know to go and take care of his car you know she'd be trying to pester the guy and maybe the man said no i don't want to wash the car i'm not ready to wash it and she goes ahead to do it if you tell a man to do something and he refuses to do it you let him be if he wants to be driving the most dirtiest car in the whole world you let him drive it. If the man doesn't want to get better, you know, take care of himself, your option is to leave. Love is not do or die affair. Ladies, please, it is not okay for you to wash a man's car. Your boyfriend's car now. What are we doing again? You guys did not update me that now we wash cars. Are we washing ceiling too? Maybe you should update me on what is happening. I even heard that that was not the first time of her doing something like that. And the funny thing is that that man doesn't value her. Any man that allows you wash his car doesn't value you. Let us not even talk about him seeing you in his long term. Any man that allows you to do hard labor, hard labor, does not value you much more loving you. It is not okay for your man to allow you do masculine things. The man you are dating shouldn't even allow you carry water. The man you are dating shouldn't even allow you do electrical work, do carpentry work. You know, open can, trying to open this can. You say, oh baby, baby, I can't open it. You can open it. Act as if you cannot open it. Guys, please let me drink water before my throat will dry. Act as if you cannot open it. Start learning how to be soft and feminine. We keep shouting, we love soft life. Some of you people don't even know what soft life is. Soft life is not hard labor. Because don't ever do something so demeaning and so low value in this world. Try and have dignity. 
try and carry yourself well. You know how we wear padded bra? Padded bra does this thing to our boobs. Please, start carrying yourself like padded bra. Push yourself up. Don't push yourself down. You see this one? No. Push yourself up like this. This is how I want you to carry yourself. Stop carrying yourself down. Value yourself. When you value yourself and someone comes into your life, the person values you. And if the person cannot value you, the person flies away. If you devalue yourself, the man in your life is going to devalue you. Men test us with the things we can take. Men push your button. And then they test you to know the kind of things you can take. Not all men are like this. So men are amazing. They were trained properly and they grow up and they train themselves to be better. Please stop choosing anyhow men. Stop being desperate in the bid to have a man and to get married. You people will be putting yourself on the floor. Stop being on the floor. Take yourself high. Have high standards. Have high value. Love yourself. Value yourself. And level up. Develop yourself and your brains. So you can be like this high. You meet better people. Stop being low and be meeting low people. Learn. Be better. So you can be better. Do better. So you can choose better. Love yourself. If you love yourself, you won't be washing car for your man. You will date someone that has sense, that knows that he should take his car to the car wash. And you should know that if a man does not love or value you, he's going to make you suffer. He's going to make your life miserable. And if you don't like yourself, you're going to stay there and suffer. Suffer. And the funny thing is that later, you're going to know better. If you don't know better now, you're going to know better in the next 5, 10, 20, 50 years time. And you're going to regret. You're going to feel so bad that you allowed yourself to be treated like trash. Please, people should start doing better. Stop staying where you are not valued. There are so many men out there. If you're going to meet better, you're going to do better, you're going to meet someone better. So why do you guys keep staying with someone that doesn't value you people? And you people know. It's not like you don't know, but we keep living in denial. Why? Do you know that I was telling my friend about this thing and I was crying? Not like, ew, ew, ew. But tear was tearing down my cheeks. I was crying because I know that later the girl is going to know better. She's going to feel like, why did I stoop so low? Why did I devalue myself? She's going to feel so bad because she didn't treat herself good. And in case people are hoping and thinking that, hey, it doesn't matter. And they will still end up together. They will marry. Imagine you're dating somebody and the person is treating you like shit. So imagine when you people marry, how the person is going to treat you after having kids. Oh, you think people change? People hardly change. We rather live in denial and stay where we are and we don't change because change requires effort and hard work and strength. So please, my dear women out there, stop doing masculine things. That two hours, three hours you used to do masculine washing of car duty, you can use that time and develop and improve yourself and be better. When you do better, you meet better people. When you do better, you know better. When you know better, you choose better. When you choose better, you have a better life. So please choose better men. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I know you did, so give it a thumbs up already. Leave a comment below. What do you think? What is your opinion about this? Have you seen something like this before? Because my eyes cannot believe what it's all. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what kind of content you want to see. Topics like this or whatever. Let me know in the comment section. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.